Good day, my name is Blue Suit, and today I'll be going over my review of the early access Honey I Shrunk the Kids inspired bug killing grass cutting survival adventure title that is Grounded. In Grounded you play as one of four pre-made child characters who have been the subject of a cruel experiment that shrunk them down to only a couple millimeters in height. Now bullied by gnats and in constant danger of larger insects, the kids will have to use whatever resources they have available to survive the constant dangers of their own backyard. The gameplay in Grounded is very well done, and for an early access game I was surprised that I didn't encounter any crashes or bugs. Gameplay, bugs. Its crafting system takes a lot of inspiration from its fellow crafting games, but applies it to the shrunken idea in such imaginative ways. You can start by killing some ants to make ant armor and ant weapons, and the ant armor even gives you the passive ability to haul more large objects, as an ant would. Some armor will give you better stamina regeneration, or some weapons can poison your enemies. They've even gone as far as being able to craft grenades out of bug parts. I'm already impressed with the creativity of the items that are in the game, and I can't wait to see what else they can come up with. The base building is okay so far. You build most of your base out of grass and weed stalks that you cut down, but right now you don't really have too much to fill your base with, and it's clear that a lot of the early efforts have gone more into the equipment than the base building. You can, however, build a bed, a workbench, and some food and water collectors to get yourself in a self-sustainable living situation, but for now it's all genre standard items. The combat in Grounded really took me by surprise. For starters, it can be terrifying depending on what you're fighting. Even trying to fight a ladybug was like a fist fight with a terminator. It is immediately clear that you do not belong in this world and you apparently look delicious to everything. Even once you get the best gear that the game currently offers, then it's still only a fair fight if you're alone. And then there's the real terrors, the orb weavers and the wolf spiders. I don't know what nightmare realms the developers had to travel to to get the animations right, but they nailed it. The spiders are creepy and powerfully terrifying. Fortunately, Grounded does offer an arachnophobia mode that turns them into legless marshmallows, but if you're too prideful to turn it on, just know that it's pretty scary, especially at night, because that's when the wolf spider roams around the map to hunt. And being caught outside your base at night, especially without a light source, is very reminiscent of swimming in the oceans of Subnautica, and having that anxiety that a giant creature could be coming up behind you and you wouldn't even know it. Sadly, there is currently no local couch co-op, but the online multiplayer is absolutely the best thing about Grounded. Playing solo isn't bad by any means, but it's really not any better than any other survival crafting games until you bring some friends along. And the more friends you have, the better your experience will be. You can have up to four people playing at once, but even as soon as I brought one other person into my game, there was a complete shift of power between me and the insects. I had to increase the size of my base and my water and food production, of course, but now we could gang up on the bugs. Then once I had a party of three, we were unstoppable. It was such a great change going from being the prey to the predator. The three of us got ourselves fully equipped with mint mallets created from old candy, and we just roamed around the yard, killing spiders, stink bugs, bombardier beetles, and anything else we could find. We were at the top of the food chain, and it was clear that this was how the game was meant to be played. And the armor passives synergize well with teamwork. The ladybug armor, for example, improves the player's ability to block attacks, so you can be a tank while the other members of the team focus on damage or resource gathering. Grounded is, however, still a very early, early access title, and with that there are some setbacks. The first is the story, or lack thereof. Getting through the current story will only take about an hour or two, and none of it yet describes how you came to meet your fate. There are scientific labs scattered around the map, so there will certainly be more story to come, but for right now it just ends with the option to continue on with daily quests. The second is that it's clear that there needs to be a lot more content before Grounded is going to be ready for launch. Honestly, there is so much that could be done here from new recipes, weather effects, more base building options, new bugs, and definitely insect taming. The first thought I had when I saw these monstrous bugs dominating the landscape was I want to be its friend and I want to ride it. The sky's the limit and based on interviews with the developers it seems to all depend on how much support it gets during its time in early access. Right now you can pick up Grounded on Steam for $30. As with nearly every early access title it's not going to be worth that and this one is no different. It's a stable game with a very unique world with intense combat and an addictive crafting system. But with how much content that has currently been released, I'm valuing Grounded at $25.
and I would highly recommend it to fans of first-person crafting games that have a friend to play with online. I hope you enjoyed this review of Grounded. Come see me on Twitch where you can watch our reviews in progress five nights a week. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Until next time, peace!